What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed, the series where I cover all of the jumps, spots, and lines of sight that I know of on every map in Advanced Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the map Terrace. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so starting it off by the A flag, there's a really nice line of sight to pick people off that'll sit up here. A lot of times they'll sit up here as they're attacking the A flag, and they'll just basically try to use this for cover, and they'll challenge people over there. A great way to take them out, and they'll have no idea what hit them, is to jump on top of this table right here. And look at that, you can see through the glass, you can break the glass, shoot right through it, you won't lose any bullet damage at all. You'll be able to pick them off through there, and they'll have no idea what hit them. Now back here, a lot of you guys know this is a very popular place for snipers and just people in general to sit. They'll sit up here all game or they'll try to get here all game. They'll try and defend the A flag. Uh, when I come on the flank over here, uh, coming up this way, a lot of people don't know that from right here, you can easily make this jump and you're right behind them. Uh, sometimes you'll have people that are watching over here. So that's a great way to sort of uh, bypass this area here, exposing yourself as you come around this corner. You can just simply jump right up on top there and you can shoot them all in the back while they're up there. Now right back here is kind of an odd spot. It might work for like search and destroy or something, but if enemies are coming through that area right there, or again, if they're head glitching or using that for cover right there, kind of a cool line of sight is right through here with a sniper rifle. This will only really work for a sniper rifle, but you can actually shoot through this little hole right here and you're completely hidden. All they can see is maybe your head through this hole, but good luck getting a shot coming the other way through that little tiny crack. It's just not going to happen. So this is a cool way. You might be able to get a kill, like I said, in Search and Destroy or something. I wouldn't like camp here in Domination or anything because it's not likely you're going to get a ton of people running through there. Now getting over towards the B flag, there's this building right here, this little bedroom in here. And a lot of times people will sit behind the bed like this or they'll just be in this corner here waiting for somebody to come around the corner. So a pretty cool way to take them out is to actually jump right up on top of this like that. And there you go. You can just look right through the window, pick them off if they're there, pick them off if they're in the corner there. It's an awesome way to take them out and they'll have no idea what hit them because they're not going to be looking up in this window. They're going to be looking over here or they're going to be waiting for people to come right here. So that's kind of a cool spot. I don't know how useful it's actually going to be, but if you get a kill through there, that'll be pretty cool. Now, right by the B flag, this is a very, very useful spot that I use all the time, and I don't see enough people using it. I don't think people really know about it. But if you're defending the B flag from this side of the map where I am right now, all you have to do is jump up on this chair and look at that. You get a clear line of sight into that room. You're very difficult to see through these uh, flowers right here. And also, you have great cover. You can always just crouch to take cover completely, and you can shoot them. Too many people try to expose themselves like this. And you're exposing yourself way too much by doing this. All you have to do is just hop on this chair and you've got that perfect line of sight. Now for the B flag on this map, I do have a couple of capture spots. Uh, one of them is on top of the umbrella right here. So you can lay down on the umbrella. I don't really recommend it though, because people can get a line of sight from on you from way up there. They can actually see the top of that umbrella. Uh, same goes for that side. They can see the top of the umbrella. So it might work for kind of taking people off guard as they come in through this way on this level but you're very, very easy for people to pick off from any other direction. So I wouldn't really recommend that. A second capture spot that I have is to watch this doorway right here. That's a very common occurrence if you're coming from this way and your enemies are coming from that way. Uh, a lot of times people will try to capture here, but they can't quite see the doorway while, while having good cover. So they'll expose themselves in this doorway, which isn't ideal because you have no cover. All you have to do is stand right up on top of this right here and look at that. Perfect cover over top there. You can crouch to take cover completely if you need to. And uh, it works great, much better than trying to uh, use this for cover like that. Now finally, this is kind of a sneaky capture spot uh, that only, I don't know, it only works in certain situations. Once they catch on to what you're doing, I wouldn't use this anymore. But a lot of times you can capture from right here and they'll have no idea where you are until it's too late. Unfortunately, you can't really do much to defend yourself because you will be prone blocked. So you can't actually like turn your aim very far. Uh, so it's basically one of those things where you just sit here and hope they don't see you before you get that capture. So this building right in here, right by the B flag, is a very popular place for people to basically control. I want to say camp, but it's not really camping in my mind because they're trying to control the area surrounding the B flag. So people will sit in this corner right here, or they'll sit behind this piece of cover right here, or maybe in this corner over here. A nice way to check at least this corner here is to jump up in this window and just use it as a little check spot so you know what you're dealing with, you know if somebody's there uh, or not. Uh, I use this one quite a bit and it does help me in some situations. It's not like the most useful spot ever, but it does help sometimes. 
Now getting up into the middle of the map here, uh, right here is a nice little spot to defend this area of the map from. Uh, I wouldn't really camp here all game because once they catch on, they can just spray through this umbrella from up top. Uh, but until they do catch on, it's usually a pretty good way to pick off kills through here, there, over here. There's a momentum point right here. There's a hard point in this pool. So this can be a very powerful position until they find out what you're doing. And then they can simply shoot th through the umbrella to uh, kill you. So uh, use it, but don't use it for too long. Now, if you're pushing from the B flag over towards the C flag, right up there is a really popular spot for snipers and just campers to sit in general. And they have the height advantage, advantage as well as a cover advantage as you come through this area. So a great way to sort of take them by surprise or at least check that spot. Pop up right on top of this, back off a little bit, and look at that. Great line of sight on them. You now have better cover than them and you can pick them off through there. Or you can just check and if nobody's there, then you can just move on. If the enemy holds a B flag and you're coming from C trying to get to B, a lot of the time somebody will be sitting right here and they'll be locking down this doorway very effectively on their own because they have great cover and as you come through that doorway, you have no cover at all. So he'll just lock this area down for a long time. Got a couple counter line of, lines of sight to him. Uh, the first one is way back here. You can very easily just crouch here, use this for cover, and you can pick him off right through there. Typically, he's not even looking this far back. Uh, even if he is, though, you have better cover than he does. The second one is when you start pushing up and maybe he starts shooting at you right here and you get behind this pillar for cover, you can actually peek this side right here and you can even peek all the way around over to that head glitch as well and a good area of the capture portion of the B flag. Now, right up here on top of this building next to the C flag, this is a very popular place for people to sit and snipe and they'll just sit here with assault rifle and they'll challenge people that are over here Maybe up in that area right there, uh, down in that doorway, and then they might kind of peek down to this doorway. This isn't a very good spot because obviously you don't have very much cover and you have no cover against people that are right across there. So I don't know why people sit here when this is a much better option. You hop on top of this ledge and there you go. You have great cover towards uh, that area right there. You can peek around towards this doorway very easily with great cover. You can see a little bit over, over towards where the B flag is. You can see that head glitch spot. You can just crouch to take cover, and if people start to get on your flank, all you do is move to the side, you have perfect cover. So this is a much better spot. So that spot I just showed you was right there, and like I said, it's a pretty good spot, but I have a great counter to that spot as well. So if somebody is using that spot and they're really effectively locking that down, you hop on top of this area right here. If you're crouched, they can't see you. If you stand up, there you go. Perfect line of sight on that corner. You can pick them off through there with an assault rifle or maybe a longer ranged, uh, or with a sniper rifle or a longer range assault rifle, it'll be very easy to pick them off from that position. You can also use this to sort of jump up and just check here. You might be able to get a jump shot with a sniper rifle to pick the people off that are in the more common spot, which is right there. Now, if you're trying to defend the C flag from people that are coming from the patio up here, a lot of times people will sit right up here and this is a pretty good spot. You have great cover. Uh, you'll win this gunfight a lot of the time, but still it's a pretty fair gunfight because they have great cover as well and they have a little bit of a height advantage over you. So a little bit of a better spot for you. If you jump up here, and then you slowly just edge your way down. Uh, yeah, just right to this ledge right here. Look at that, you get a much better line of sight on them. They don't expect you to be here. You can crouch and take cover, and you'll win that gunfight a lot more often because it's not nearly as expected. You also get a little bit of a line of sight over there, although it's not likely you'll catch anybody off guard as they come through that area. Now I see way too many people trying to attack the A flag using this for cover right here and basically trying to challenge all the people that are camping on top of that rooftop. This is not idea, ideal, especially if you have like a sniper rifle or a longer range assault rifle. If you jump on top of this table, this is much better. So you can crouch, you have pretty good cover here, you'll be pretty difficult to pick out and you can easily pick them off as they're on that rooftop. And then you can advance towards the A flag. Now right here, I'm surprised a lot of people don't really use this, but if enemies are coming from the C flag and they jump up on top of this area right here, this is a great way to counter them. You also have a nice line of sight to people that'll be up here, and you can use any one of these tables to basically get that line of sight. It also gives you a little bit of a line of sight over towards this way, but you'll pretty much have to jump up to actually see what's going on. Now just a spot to be aware of as people are coming through this doorway right here, as you come through this doorway, is right here. Actually, it works for this doorway as well. People will sometimes camp right up here. They'll look over top of the doorway and they'll pick you off as you run through. It works both ways, like I said. All they have to do is jump up on here and they can easily pick you off as they come through here. So just be aware of that spot and don't be that guy that uses that spot. It's kind of a stupid spot to use anyways. 
you're not going to get a ton of kills there. So that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Maps Exposed. Let me know in the comments section below which one of the maps you'd like to see me cover next. And keep in mind, I have covered most of the maps already. Uh, so if you haven't uh, seen the previous episodes, make sure you click the link below. I will leave a link to the playlist where I've covered all of the maps so far. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.